हो 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 इट्स चिलिंग आउट हियर हे व्हाट्स अप गाइस दिस इज टिटो बैक विद अनदर वीडियो सो व्हाट इज दिस सुडा मोड लेट्स फाइंड आउट दिस इज अ कस्टम रोम व्हिच इज बेस्ड ऑन ओरिजिनल लाइनेज ओएस 14.1 एंड दैट एज वी ऑल नो इज बेस्ड ऑन एंड्राइड नुगट 7.1.2 विद अ गुड अमाउंट ऑफ कस्टमाइजेशंस एडेड and i am trying out the 14th january 2018 build which is today and you can download the rom and g apps from this xda thread which will be linked in the description box below so before proceeding make sure you have officially unlocked bootloader twrp recovery installed and you are doing it on your own risk so as you can see i am on validus os right now so let's boot the phone into twrp recovery Once we are booted into TWRP recovery, go to wipe, then advanced wipe, and wipe cache, Dalvik cache, system, and data. Once done, go back, go back. As you can see, I am using official TWRP 3.0.2/2 right now. So now hit install and locate the ROM and GApps file. Select them and swipe to confirm flash. Once done, hit reboot system and wait for the time being. Here is how the boot animation looks like. Pretty cool. And as we are booted into the system, and as you can see, it says Lineage OS here already. So now let me complete the setup process. Here is how the Trebuchet launcher looks like. I am pretty sure that it's the same one from Lineage OS. Here is the settings of the stock launcher if you are into that. So by pulling from the status bar, you will see the quick settings panel is a little sky blue colored here, which is some kind of dark gray in original Lineage OS. I am not very good with colors, so you guys let me know in the comments that what color is it. Here is how the about section looks like pretty similar to Lineage OS but this build comes with Redon kernel and the latest security patch of January 5 2018 but for some reason by tapping on the android version for few times it gets the sign of android audio is it a bug or is it a hint i don't know so i will be installing the modded pixel launcher now which is my favorite if you haven't to watch that video you should link popping out from the top right corner of the screen let me set up the launcher here this is how the quick settings panel looks like and if we tap the edit button we have things like sync system profile screenshot volume panel etc which you can add let me just add screenshot over here So in the settings of notification we have the option to disable heads up and hide notification from the lock screen and let's move to the status bar customization settings and here you will see much more options than lineage os from here you can customize clock and date position am pm style you can enable seconds in clock if you want to date on the status bar date style format everything I will disable the network speed here because I use Internet Speed Meter app. You can enable showing the network carrier name on the status bar like this. Here are the status bar icons. Sadly, no Volt E icon is present here as of this build. You can even customize the quick settings panel, rows and columns. Conclusion: Everything what Lineage OS comes with, this ROM has all of them, with much more features and customizations. like just jump into the gesture settings and you will know what i am talking about this rom has three finger gesture for screenshot which is my only favorite feature from me why and clean by shake ha ah, that's new you can shake the phone to clean up the notifications or recent apps panel and it works fine like this Now let's talk about buttons. Yes, we do have on-screen navigation buttons here, and the home button animation looks cool. 
I don't use on screen buttons so I am gonna disable it. Now here we have recent apps panel customization. Here you can enable memory bar and clear all button. As you can see here it shows the free RAM availability. Scrolling down you can customize the power menu and even much more. In the display settings I found an interesting thing here what is called blur. When you pull down the notification shade the rest of the screen becomes blurry. Let me increase the brightness by sliding my finger over the status bar as this ROM has that feature to do that. And as you can see this part of the screen has been blurred. You can't see the text underneath. Let me disable it now and show you guys the texts again so that you can get an idea. And from here you can customize every other animation of this ROM. Here is a demo of Geo 4G Vault working in this ROM but the stock dialer is a little stuttery in my opinion so I am using Google dialer from later on and it's working pretty well. Now let's try the face unlock here with my ugly face of course. And it works fine. Here is the charging status it shows in the lock screen. ROMs but I can live with it. So do you wanna flash this ROM? Let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think. So that wraps up this video guys hope you have enjoyed it if you did please feel free to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to our channel right here and this is Tito from KTN Tech signing off I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.